Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can replace the screen completely on your iPhone 5S. First up, you need to have an iPhone 5S. Then you're gonna to need to buy a new screen kit, preferably one that comes with the full LCD and digitizer together and all of the tools you need to complete this. The one I used, if you are interested, is linked below and I do highly recommend it. Regardless of which kit you bought though, we are going to remove the two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone and set those aside. Then we can use the included suction cup from the kit and place it at the lowest point you can without overlapping the home button. If you overlap it, it'll create an air pocket and then you'll just lose suction, so we don't want that. Once it's on there, we can use the pry tool that oddly looks like a guitar pick. And while pulling up on the screen, wedge it under to get the screen to separate from the frame. You can then pull it up a little bit, but be careful as there is a small cable connecting the fingerprint sensor to the motherboard that you need to just pop off carefully. Next, we can remove the screws over the metal bracket at the top of the phone that is covering the cables coming from the screen and set that aside. Now, I highly recommend you set the screws for everything you remove. Yes, we are going to remove more things. And whatever you remove aside and put the screws next to the holes they came out of since they are not all the same size sometimes and this will help with reassembly. We can then pop off the cables connecting the screen to the motherboard. Keep in mind where each one goes and in which order it goes just to make life easier when we have to put the new screen back on. After that, we can separate the screen from the rest of the phone. Now, most screens you buy won't come with the home button, front facing camera, earpiece, etc. So we need to take them from the original screen and move them over to the new one. So first, we'll start with the earpiece camera assembly. To do that, we'll remove the screws holding down the metal bracket and set that aside. We can then remove this guy and pull up this cable that is bent backwards and has a small metal piece inserted into a hole at the back of the screen. Keep in mind how this goes in, by the way, because we need to put it back the same way with the new screen. Then using the pry tool again, we can carefully loosen the glue holding down the rest of the assembly and carefully peel that all up, including the copper part that is glued to the metal bracket on the back of the screen and set all of that aside. Next, we'll remove the metal bracket on the back of the screen by unscrewing the screws on either side of the screen, then removing the one at the top of the phone and the one at the bottom. Then we can remove the bracket over the home button and set that aside. Afterwards, slowly peel up the home button and set it aside as well. Finally, with the pry tools help, we can separate the metal back from the rest of the screen. So now onto the new screen, we can peel off the protective film, put the metal back from the old screen onto the new screen and line it up with the screw holes and screw it on. We can then place the home button in and the metal bracket over it and screw all of that down. Then put in the last two screws from the metal bracket if you didn't already do them, the one at the top and the one at the bottom. Next, we'll put in the front camera housing, making sure to get that bent cable's metal piece back into the hole like it was on the original screen. Once that is in snug, you'll notice two holes above the four copper conductors. These need to have the two plastic prongs on the back of the screen go through them. Then place this guy back on and put the metal bracket back over it and screw that back in. Next, we can reconnect the cables from the screen to the motherboard. Keep in mind that here is where a lot of issues can arise. If you see lines on the screen or discoloration, etc., when you turn it back on, 90% of the time, it's because these are not connected properly or you bent or damaged them, so be careful. Once those feel secure, we can put the metal bracket back over them and screw it back down. Then we'll lower the screen back down and reconnect the fingerprint sensor cable. Then slowly and carefully put the screen back down until it snaps in. At this point, I like to turn it back on to just make sure that everything is working before finally putting in the two last pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. There you go, guys. Hope that helped some of you save some money. Uh, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this or see what other videos I do, they're not all repair things, by the way. Click the link below to be taken to my channel where you can check that out. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. As always, though, thanks for watching.